Welcome to another Pike and Shot Battle. So I'm a pair of match against Austin 4, in which I forgot to record the selection screen. Poles against Ottomans. So that's obviously the main feature we have to work around. This cavalry is mostly visible. I just uh, wanted it to be under cover from artillery. Yeah, kind of thought that's where those would go. So we'll move to a direct infantry confrontation and the cavalry will wait off to the side for now. Eventually these lights are going to make things unpleasant for us, but that can wait. All right, so we can shift this cavalry over then. I thought maybe they'd be able to punch through, but that's clearly not happening. Okay, you can shift and something like that. They can shift to the other side where they have more lights that we're gonna have to deal with. And unfortunately, this artillery is just gonna fuck with us. Next turn. It looks like we are pushing in for an infantry confrontation. I mean, he's not aware of the scale of units I have hidden here. Actually, given the line of sight, you might only see this one. Pull back a bit. Let's bring this one out because he can see it anyway. And maybe then he'll think that's it. You can go hunt artillery. Assist there. Go help out there. Okay, so just a five units of foot there. And let's see. I think that we can fall back for now and see if they'll come forward. And if they don't, then no big deal. So we're going to wait a turn to see if these wings push, and if they do, we'll swing out their own cavalry. If they don't, we'll probably have to do so anyway, but uh, so these, these are probably going to hang back, but you know, if this pushes forward a bit more, then we can burst out and try to get momentum going here while having an even head-on fight here, and we could even stand off here and kind of wait for them to move. Next turn. Good. That pretty much puts them in charge range.
Rough ground is good for swordsmen, which is what they are. But they won't be doing much sitting in rough ground either. Will they just evade if I charge? No. Even better. Okay, wait there. And do we wait for them to come in? Why not? So there's some kind of infantry here. Well, doesn't matter coming out to play. There's infantry there, facing that way. Uh, I think we can move safely here. Now he knows these men are in here, so we might as well say hello. I think otherwise we can still wait here as much. Well, you could either go that way or that way. And you can prepare to pop out and that can make it a little bit easier for you to emerge. All right, should be in a decent position next turn. Next turn. Oops. Got to move them. Oh well. We can deal with it. Looks like they may be coming out. Okay. Well, I guess no sense pretending at this point. You'll know from watching his movement that they're there. You, though, I think can wait because there's nowhere. I think if we move here, yeah, line of sight is blocked. Nowhere useful for them to go. Let's. Well. Hmm. Keep hanging back. Is that out of line of sight? Not sure. Let's be stealthy. Okay. So let's wait one more turn to see what happens here. In the meantime, charge into melee. Set up a drop there. Although with everyone moderately disordered, it may not matter. Okay. Then, Go. Held firm. Go again. Disrupt again. Uh, run. 
we're just going to have to ignore this light cavalry and hope it doesn't hurt us too bad. Okay, set up a drop and start working our way around. Okay, this unit remains a problem, but it is in rough ground, so at least we'd be on even terms. Well, even-ish, right? They're armored, so there is that. Hmm. Okay. Got the stationary bonus to overcome our disorder. Shooting them would be pointless because they're already disordered. And our cavalry ambush can wait. Next turn. Hmm. Ouch. At least we're in the woods, but it's not good. Nice dodge there. Rally it up, so if we land the impact, we'll be up on the melee, thanks to steady pistols. Okay. Next. Interesting. Well, what does that do? Let's throw in the foot. Grab a charge. Work on the auto brake since they're determined to hold firm. That's rough ground. Okay. Now he sees a danger and he's running. See if we can't slow him down. Let's see. That should keep a good amount of space covered by a charge arc. Who's left? No one. Next turn.
bounce them, but now they're going to be freed up. Good. We could auto drop them, but I'd rather see where this takes us. Would say that was far more satisfying. Does that cause a further pursuit? No. Uh, charge. Cause me disrupt. Then let's see the auto break, causing a frag fire. Um, you prep a charge, you cover, oops, actually, good, Ugh. move to intercept. All right. Good. Prepping a charge. Yeah, prep for contact. Right. Sure. Okay. Should be batch. Right. It's batch. So, pretty straightforward. Cavalry ambush and infantry ambush here. And Austin Ford said it himself, he probably shouldn't have been quite so aggressive. Certainly not without uh, maxing his foot to take this on. Given his artillery superiority, though, he probably could have sat back and seen what I did, at which point. This isn't a tournament or anything hyper competitive. I probably would have come forward. Although I don't think I would have just charged. It probably would have been a push right to mm, seize this rough and at least avoid one artillery unit. So, good game to Awesome 4, as always. Till next time.